Okay, so here's the deal. I got up this morning to go, and it had evidently rained last night, so I'm waiting for a few hours for the roads to dry off. So it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, when I wanted to start the test. So I go outside, and this is what I see. It is freaking raining. So I obviously can't do a range test when the roads look like this. Oh my goodness. So I already had Tessie set to charge to 100% and be ready to leave at 8. So she's just going to have to stay full for a few hours. Um, yeah, this is pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and leave the orbital wheel covers on. Um, there's absolutely no wind today. And they're supposed to be very equivalent to the Tesla aero cover. Um, in my testing, they did poorly. But there was a strong side wind that day. And let me show you what I think. Here's what I think. Since more of the side is open, if there's a strong side wind, it becomes less efficient. But since there is zero wind today, I don't think it will be an issue. And it should be very equivalent to the stock Tesla aero covers. I'm going to give the road a few more minutes to dry. It is, it's getting pretty dry. And I'm going to head out on this 70 mile an hour range test. I'm gonna do my range test the same way, inside EVs and out of spec motoring, all the big Tesla people. I'm gonna do it the same way they do it so our results are gonna be equivalent. Now, my car has 21,000 miles on it and it has about six to eight percent degradation when i first got it it showed 310 miles of range on the uh, screen now it shows 286 when it's full all right guys here we go uh, we've been on the road for a few minutes now we are starting the 70 mile per hour range test i actually have to go 71 miles per hour to match gps 70 so this road is basically straight and it has turnaround U-turn places every half mile. So it's perfect uh, for me to be able to test the range of this car. Now, I don't have any fast chargers near where I'm gonna be. So I have to be a little bit more cautious dear, during the end because I have to be able to make it home and plug back into my charger. And obviously my car will be out of commission for about, I don't know, eight to 10 hours after that while it's recharging. <laughs> or at least a few hours until it gets enough charge I can drive back around town again. Like I said, this road is straight. It does have some hills, but I'm going to go back and forth. So it should, you know, if I'm going uphill one way, I'm coming downhill the other. So it will average out. I'm gonna continue going the same speed no matter what, unless I have to go around somebody. I'm not even gonna come out of this lane. Uh, you can see here on the side of the screen, I'm going to be displaying the information that I'm getting from the car's OBD2 port. And um, right now it's showing battery voltage up in the top uh, left corner. So right now it's showing battery voltage in the top left, battery power, in the top right and those are the totals for the pack and so you can see that going 70 here on the highway is using about 20 kW 18 to 20 kW I'm going slightly downhill now so it's probably going to average around a continuous 20 kW it shows state of charge and rated range expected remaining is important that one's going to be counting down to zero um, there's a three kilowatt buffer at the bottom a 3.5 kilowatt buffer I believe so 
I don't know that it's going to let me go below that. So we'll see. Uh, it shows the battery temperature there, the steering angle, average consumption, and the distance that I've gone since I started. I'm going to check back in when we get to 50%. Uh, I'll just fast forward this time lapse and let you all zap down the road real quick. But I will be back with you when I'm at 50% and we'll go over these numbers again. So I know I told you I wasn't going to check back in until 50%, but it's boring out here. So let's go ahead and give a quick update here at 75%. So if we look at the stats here on the uh, side of the screen, we're down to 380 volts at 75%. The rated range is 216 miles. The predicted range is 198 more. Uh, Max region still sitting about 85 kW. Expected remaining is down to 53 kilowatt hours. Our temps are up into the upper 80s, mid to upper 80s. So there you go. That is the 75% check in. Um, I had two, three disengagements of autopilot. Two of them, none of them were autopilot's fault. I had to change lanes twice and then I did the U-turn. I did have one very minor phantom break. It wasn't jarring, it was just, just barely there. It wasn't the normal phantom break, but I did have one slight phantom break. At the far end of the course here, I did get a few raindrops on the windshield and the road never really got wet. I, don't, I literally only used the windshield wipers three times, so no worries about that. I don't think I have anything else to report. I will get back on the road and report back in at 50%. spot every time I just had that phantom break in the exact same spot that was so weird anyway all right guys here we are at 50% state of charge check-in uh, you can see we're down to 360 volts we're still cruising we're going slightly uphill right now so it, it's still averaging 18 to 20,000 watts um, our rated range is down to 153 miles, and we've been 124 miles. So we should be able to get about 250 miles, depending on how adventurous I am. So we'll see, maybe 240 if I chicken out. But, you know, everything's been going good. I have had, I had that weird phantom break at literally the exact same place. So it's gotta be a mapping issue on Tesla's side. It's right before a creek bridge and there's nothing around that would cause that phantom break. So that's something kinda weird. We're about to the far end of the loop again and I'm getting ready to do a U-turn and go back towards the house again. So I will check in with y'all at 25% and we will see where I'm at. Alright guys, this is the 25% check in. I've gone 188 miles and I'm averaging 
actually just ticked over to 189. I'm averaging 266 watt hours per mile. So we're down to 338 volts and we're still averaging that 20 kW of 71 miles of rated range left and the car says I have 66 miles of predicted range. So I'm not exactly, I can't, I don't have enough range to do a third full loop. Uh, so I'll have to do a U-turn at some point. And then, uh, like I said at the beginning, I don't have a fast charger available to me anywhere near my house or this route. So <laughs> the charging test is gonna be kind of funny after this. I'm going to plug in but I'm obviously only going to be charging at level 2. So I'm going to charge at level 2 from 0 or 2 or 3, however, whenever I arrive at my house, all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to report back on how much, how long it actually took and how many kilowatt hours I added, the stats from that. But that's going to be the difference in my charging test and the uh, the other guys charging test they do a speed charging test you know on a fast charger well I'm gonna be on level two so we'll see what the difference is there but I am at 23.8 percent now and hopefully I will see y'all in my driveway if not I'm gonna have to try to call somebody to pull me uh, to my house but Let's hope that doesn't happen and I will see y'all in my driveway. I wasn't gonna come to you again, but we are at 10% now. I just wanna show you what the stats look like at 10%. I changed the max uh, regen power to max discharge power on this chart I'm showing you because I noticed a power limit over there on the, uh, on the power bar on the screen. So I wanted to see what it was. So we are down to 316 volts. Uh, still using the uh, same power, obviously. Uh, got 29 miles of rated range available. I'm 13 miles from my house. So I may do another little, little short loop. We'll see. Um, expected remaining 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours and we're down to 153 kilowatts of discharge power. Cell temps are warming up. It's uh, 96 degrees now. The outside temperature is 77 degrees. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. We are averaging 264 watt hours a mile and we got 229 miles on this trip. I might not push it. So what I might do is I'll end it at a safe time, maybe with uh, two or three percent on the clock still, but I will add in the predicted range into the total that I get. I'll give you the two totals, obviously. You can do with it what you will, but I think we should add in the range remaining into the total. But I will see y'all in my driveway. Hopefully I don't have any troubles. All right, guys, this is the end of the test. The grand total is going to be, I went 247 miles. I have 2% left. I could have uh, made 250 or 255. So um, the rated range remaining is six miles so our final stats are 262 watt hours per mile and 247 miles now if you want to add that six miles i have left on the the screen you can go ahead but my actual test was 247.8 miles let's flip that over to kilometers so uh, our friends overseas can tell what's going on here so I went 398 kilometers and used 65 kilowatt hours 
So our stats for our friends overseas and actually everywhere else in the world, mostly, I've been 398 kilometers. I've used 65 kilowatt hours of electricity, and that all equals 163 watt hours a kilometer. Let's go over the final stats on the screen. Uh, we got down to 307 volts is what I'm idling at currently. Now, some of the last U-turns I did on the highway before getting back to this endpoint, it was dipping down into the 200s, 290s. Uh, while I was getting up to speed. So we're very near the end. State of charge right now, I'm at 1.93% because I'm sitting here on idle. The fan, the air conditioner is still running. Whew, all right, it is over. Let's get my charger plug here and get it plugged in. Oh, she is hungry. Let's hop back in here and see how long this is going to take. 8 hours and 25 minutes. So, it is 1.56 p.m. now. I will see y'all again in 8 hours and 30 minutes here. And uh, we will go over how much energy it put in. It says I use 65 kilowatt hours. So let's see if it puts in 65 kilowatt hours. All right, through the magic of editing, it is now like 10 hours later. I don't know, it's 10 something at night here. And I just wanted to show you this Tesla Fi here. It has a really neat display. So this is my trip from earlier today. And you can see the blue here is the battery level starting at 100% and going down to zero. You can see my kilowatts used. My speed was a constant 70 miles an hour, except where I did my U-turns. So that's pretty cool. You can see the outside temperature, inside temperature. And down here on the map, you can put that on the timeline. You can see I went back and forth between Cash and, and Lawton. There you go. And then I did a short one, and then I'm ended so that was really cool to see and the elevation change and if we go back over here we can see the charging for tonight for today anyway and I've charged completely it is uh, finished now so the charge completed at 1034 so you can see that we went from 156 p.m to 10.34 p.m. to recover 98% of the battery. I went from 2% to 100% and we added 69.54 kilowatt hours. So that is the episode today. I want to thank you all for watching this. Please like and subscribe. You know, do all those YouTube things. And I really appreciate you watching and hanging out this long. And I will see you in the next one.